Brief update on the tropics. We've been talking about Hurricane Teddy. This is a Category 1 storm just east of Bermuda, likely making it back a little bit stronger to a Category 2 storm in the next 24 hours, but will continue to weaken as it heads towards the Atlantic portions of Canada as likely a powerful subtropical system later in the week. Then there's what's left over of Paulette in the eastern Atlantic that actually has the potential of redeveloping some tropical characteristics, but that will stay well away from the United States. And then there is not only Tropical Storm Beta that we talked a little bit at the top of the broadcast, continuing to not only make impacts along the Texas coastline, but really upwards even just west of Louisiana later this week. And then there is this area of cl a cluster of thunderstorm activity. Nothing organized right now in South Florida, but the National Hurricane Center is watching this area very closely because in the next five days, only giving it a 20% chance that some upper level winds could help with some possible tropical development. Again, that is such a low chance at this point, regardless through the end of the week and into the upcoming weekend, the southeastern Gulf, even through the Keys and South Florida, we could be looking at some increased rain chances. Some of that moisture will even be making its way here at home. But between now and then, enjoy that drier air while you still can. That's actually going to limit any of those isolated rain chances trying to pump into the region, partly to mostly sunny conditions over the next couple of days. And breezy winds, I think at least through not only tomorrow, but briefly even to parts of your Wednesday. I kind of wanted to show you how that drier air just really encompasses us all the way through the middle of the week. But as we suspect for the end of September here in the Sunshine State, we will start to see some of that moisture return back into the region towards the end of the week and into the weekend, some of which will be associated with that week low, area low that we're seeing down in South Florida. And that's going to help to bring us those daily chances of rain even into the weekend. Got to give you a snapshot look at this. We're going to kind of yo-yo for a little bit. Not only do we see drying air now, rain chances towards the weekend, then drying air again trying to pulse into the region maybe early next week. So maybe we'll keep this fall trend trying to go here in Florida over the next couple of days. Just got to get that pattern back into the swing of things between now and then small craft advisory for our boaters. You know, it was rough today. We're going to keep things on the choppy side for you tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. It still will be another breezy but beautiful day as we kick off the first day of fall, guys.